down here at a beach near Invercargill. Beautiful, beautiful place. And this is the reason I'm down here. We're doing a dinosaur dig for Jake. So I've got some a 3D printed Velociraptor skull. Look at those teeth. That's from my resin printer uh, for the teeth. And there's a Velociraptor claw. And there's a plesiosaur rib and some other bones in there. Oh, sand flies, ow! <laughs> um, and this is a big whale vertebra, which is uh, going to be a dinosaur vertebra today. A few more bits of bone in there. So this is what we're going to be digging up. Oh, and I've got some more. Oh man, there's so many sand flies. I should have worn long pants. And then I've got some megalodon teeth. 3D printed and painted and some of my fossil cards and some 3D printed Spinosaurus teeth and another random vertebra so that's going to be the dig for today and some agates, some polished agates those are going to be the gastroliths oh and a mosasaur tooth forgot about that actually there's a real Mosasaurus tooth. I'm gonna dig up. And a piece of amber. He's a big Jurassic Park fan. So I'm gonna dig up a real piece of amber. Fossils all buried. We're just waiting for Jake to arrive now. And I'm being eaten alive by sand flies. There are millions and millions of sand flies here. Like midges, kind of like midges, biting midges. They little, little, little things, but they bite so hard. <laughs> This one looks familiar, it's more, it's bigger than the, the bush mower, well it's probably the same size, it's just more robust, upland mower. The South Island giant mower, the one at the back there is so big, so I'm barely reaching to where it's next starting and it keeps going keeps going keeps going that's another meter above me that's so big oh so the big one's the female near the male hmm Hey, there's a little bush mower. So this is the one I printed. It looks so small over here. <laughs> Compared to all the other mower. With mine, the neck, I've just made the neck go, you know, more forward than this upright one. <laughs> there's the jawbone from a New Zealand crocodile. And that piece is also huge. I wonder how many meters that is. Oh, if I had to estimate, what, two, four, probably seven meters long this.
He has a nice, what I think is a sea maggot. Just found here on the beach. Not a fossil, but a really pretty agate. Got like a little cave full of crystals in there. This lower layer over here, that's Eocene. And that's much younger over there, I assume. I just saw this in the stream over there. It looked like there was a bit of bone sticking out. And there's a bit of bone there. And quite a few more sections actually. There's some bone over there. I wonder what it's from. I wonder if it's another piece of marlin <laughs> or bullfish. This is what I seem to find around here is this bullfish. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's definitely bone there bone coming out there and some more bone over there very cool Awesome. saw so many new places. I stuck to the dirt roads rather than taking State Highway 1. I saw a few cool exposures but I didn't um, find any fossils or petrified wood. Now I'm gonna go get some dinner and see if there's any penguins around. If you go to the Victorian area um, of Omru, sometimes you see the penguins walking around down there. <laughs> 